But first, let's get to Bill Malugin. He's live in Mission, Texas for us. Hey, Bill. Hey, Sandra, well, Border Patrol simply cannot keep up with the sheer volume of people crossing our border illegally right now. Every day this week, they've had more than 7,000 apprehensions of illegal immigrants. And we want to show you what these mass releases look like. Take a look at this video out of San Diego yesterday afternoon. What you're looking at is three unmarked white Border Patrol buses. They pull up and they start releasing several hundred illegal immigrants to city streets and sidewalks in San Diego across from a transit terminal. Uh, people were on this bus from as far away as China and Pakistan. And keep in mind, these buses are not from Texas. They're not Greg Abbott's buses. These are the Biden administration's buses. This is Border Patrol mass releasing people. You can see handfuls of them are standing around not knowing where they are, what to do, where to go next. And there was a remarkable exchange between one migrant and a Border Patrol agent as he asked the agent, hey, am I okay to travel to Chicago? And the agent says, yep, you're good to go. Take a listen. You're free to go. Okay, uh, it's no problem uh, if I go to Chicago. Either you want. And these mass releases also taking place in Border Patrol's Tucson, Arizona sector. We shot this video in Sierra Vista, Arizona yesterday afternoon. A Guatemalan family dropped off by Border Patrol in a Dollar Tree parking lot, just a random store parking lot. They didn't know where they were. They didn't know what to do. And the local sheriff out there says these mass street releases aren't fair to the community. They're not fair to the migrants. Take a listen. People come from all over the country to smuggle here, endanger this community, the citizens, and we worked united to, to combat that. Then to find out yesterday that uh, CBP is doing street releases, as they call them safe, there's nothing safe about it. Meanwhile, here in the state of Texas, Texas is trying to stand its own ground without the help of the federal government. The video you're looking at here in El Paso as Texas National Guard soldiers continue to use razor wire and physical manpower to try to block large masses of migrants trying to enter the United States illegally. That group of migrants waiting in the Rio Grande, expecting to be led into the country, but the state of Texas blocking them. That again happening in El Paso. And back out here live, CBP sources tell Fox News that border numbers for the month of August are going to be around 230,000 migrant encounters. That would be the highest number or the highest month for 2023 and would come at a time when the White House is claiming progress and, quote, stopping the flow here at our southern border. That is simply not the reality on the ground here. We'll send it back to you. Appreciate your reporting from there. Bill Malugin in Mission, Texas for us. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.